Welcome to the Center for Entrepreneurship Education and Development's video series, Entrepreneurs Helping Entrepreneurs. In this series, we'll speak to a number of new entrepreneurs to explore ideas on how to successfully navigate the journey of starting and managing a small business. It was a lemonade stand that sparked the entrepreneurial spirit in Nick Horn. Today he runs Nomad Gourmet. He's an innovator in the Halifax food truck market. Personally, I love food. I love, I love how it's, uh, it's an expression of, of yourself and your creativity. Um, I love the fact that uh, you can satisfy someone so much with just making something for them. And uh, I really wanted to do more than just cook at home. I, it was sort of a hobby grown into a career. Halifax has six vending spots that are available and most of them are rented so I really had limited spots to choose from if I wanted a city spot. Um, I, I picked the one with the most foot traffic, I picked the one that's closest to all the offices. My, my target market is, is lunch for the working customer, for the working uh, public. So basically my business model is to hedge the difference between the food court which has not so great lunch every day and sitting down for an hour in a restaurant and having really great food but no time to sit down and eat it. So I really, I really wanted to you know, hedge the difference between that and, and give restaurant quality food at, at a fast food pace. So my business sources its uh, products, about 85% of them locally. Uh, I pride myself on that and uh, I will spend a little bit of extra money if it is local. I think, I think it's important to keep our money in the province uh, it helps keep jobs in the province and it also uh, it builds better relationships with suppliers. I, th I think it's easier to get terms with somebody who is operating a small business like yourself. They, they sort of understand, understand more. My target market really wasn't difficult to identify. Uh, I, knew, I knew they're out there, everybody goes to work and there's, there's certainly holes in the uh, the decor where, where you have to walk for, for food. Um, really, I, I emulated other big cities that are doing the same thing. If, if something's working, just copy it. <laughs> My marketing plan is big and small at the same time. I don't have a lot of money. It's all, it's all, it's all spent on the truck. So I, uh, I have to save money to do marketing. I use Twitter. I use uh, other businesses. I collaborate with them and, and do uh, events and such. I do some small ads in, in the coast and uh, in magazines. And I think, I think the best thing is, is the social media aspect. That works. It really works and it's, it's free. Um, you have to uh, engage your customers. And you have the ability to, which is good. I think, uh, I think it's the best for my business right now don't buy too much. I did a concert in September and the projections were off and I got stuck with thousands of dollars worth of inventory. I, I really learned my lesson. It's better to scramble sometimes. Uh, what surprised me the most is not being able to punch out. I didn't think it would be so hard to disconnect to just leave everything. With your own business you can't do that because it's yours. Um, when I want to sort of mentally punch out at the end of the day, I have a beer and tell myself that's it. It's usually right before I go to bed. <laughs> I wouldn't say I have one biggest fan. I really take satisfaction in repeat customers knowing their faces and getting to know their names. I, I didn't think I'd take so much pleasure in being able to call someone by their first name when they come up to the truck. I think that is the most satisfying thing about my business. Seed really enabled me with uh, their workshops, their mentoring, coaching, and just opening up the, uh, the doors to some financing. Uh, without Seed, I don't think I would have been able to get my business off the ground. They really provide a lot of support, coaching, 
sound advice that you can you can rely on. My, my succession plan for the business is to establish the first truck and then establish a commissary kitchen, sort of a, a home base of operations where I can operate out of and from there it'll be more trucks and quite possibly a restaurant. Um, there's a lot of hoops. I've got the vehicle to license, insure, motor vehicle inspection, and then I've got a, a restaurant. It, my, my truck is classed as a restaurant, it's licensed as a restaurant, so there's quite a few hoops. Um, everybody wants the last guy to give you the license first sort of thing, so it, it, you had to apply for the first one, wait the two months for it to show up, or, or three weeks or however long they take to, to print this piece of paper, and then show it to the next guy and do the same thing all over again. And I did that, I think, four or five times to be able to open my truck. All of you guys, the, uh, the encouragement when you really feel like just saying, I'm gonna go back and get a job and work for Joe. <laughs> you know, it's so easy to do that, but the, the encouragement that bounces around this room during all the workshops and everything, that's priceless. That really kept me going.